Aerodrome did something very unexpected yesterday. As you guys know, we had a massive flash crash, right? Bitcoin was down 5%. All of your altcoins were down 10, 20, 30% yesterday. And same thing with Aerodrome, right? It went from about that 180 range all the way down to about 165. If you looked at your portfolio yesterday, you're in for a surprise, right? Everything was bleeding. It was looking very grim for a minute. Now, why do I say Aerodrome is surprising? Well, as you can see in this past day, we've literally gone from this low of 160 and we've completely shot back up again to $2.13, even higher than where it was before. Now, that is very unprecedented for a coin. There's not many coins um, in this market that aren't meme coins right now that are doing this, right? Even look at something like, you know, Caspa, you know, another fundamentally sound coin. It's recovering, um, but not to the extent of Aerodrome. You know, Caspa is still in that 12 50 range right it hasn't gone back up to you know 14 cents hasn't gone back to 15 cents yet it's still in that 1250 range but aerodrome right it's literally shot back up again all the way up in the past day which is crazy look at arc block right arc block is also holding up pretty well um but not as well as aerodrome right for arc block to have held the same way as aerodrome it would need to be at like three dollars and ten cents right now which is obviously it's not right it's still holding up very well though I, I must say but aerodrome as you can see it's literally it went from going being down like 20 percent to being up 14 percent in one day that is absolutely crazy now why is that happening why is aerodrome going up so much right after a massive crash well, you have to ask yourself these questions and you have to monitor your portfolio during these massive dips. So what I did yesterday was I looked through my portfolio. I went through all, you know, 15, 20 coins that I had and I looked at the winners and the losers, meaning I looked at the coins that dropped the most and I looked at the coins that dropped the least. Right? I, look, I looked at the coins that dropped a lot and then stayed in that bottom zone and didn't really have a move back up. And then I looked at the coins that dropped a lot, of course, but then very quickly was able to recover. Now, the coins that are able to recover, those are the coins that you potentially want to allocate more funds to in the future, right? You want to take note of this. You want to take a mental note of the coins that recovered very fast. If you looked at your entire portfolio and you didn't see any coins like Aerodrome that recovered very fast, you might want to rethink the structure of your portfolio. You might want to, you know, reallocate some funds to these very fast recovering coins because why do these coins recover fast? It's because they are going to be the leaders of this bull run. They are the coins, right, that people are the most bullish on. And right after these dips, people are looking to grab this coin for cheap, right? Aerodrome, before this dip, let's look at the chart, right? It was actually about to break out into newer highs. I was literally about to predict this breakout um, before it happened in that last video. As you can see, uh, just looking at the chart right here, I was predicting a move to the upside to this 240 range, and we basically got a wick, a giant wick up to 236, but this was right before the massive drop in Bitcoin and Ethereum prices. Apparently what happened, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think like a major corporation or a major uh, hedge fund, they liquidated a lot of their position in Ethereum. They liquidated like tens of millions of dollars and that, uh, that caused a flash crash in the price of Ethereum and Bitcoin. And then, you know, that spiral goes down all the way to altcoins. Um, so an entire liquidation of the market was the catalyst for this uh, giant dip that we had. We were literally about to break out and then news happened and then boom, we dipped back down again. Um, we actually touched this 150 range, wow. And look how quickly, look how big this, this candle is, right? This wick started from, the, the bottom of the, this wick is 153, but then we end up going back to 175. Um, this is on the hourly chart. So, and then look, from from the, this bottom point we've just gone up and up and up we've literally went from 153 all the way up to 214 now um basically in less than 24 hours that is absolutely unprecedented in today's market in my opinion 
Uh, there's basically no other coin other than maybe some meme coins or some lower market cap coins um, that just have some random bullish case to them that have done this. You know, ArcBlock is an established project. Usually, uh, there's these established projects take a little bit more time to kind of run up. You know, they kind of stay at those lower points a little bit longer. Um, one of these coins, right, is injective, right? I, I I took a look at this in my portfolio. I realized that, damn, this this coin dropped a lot. This coin went from 30, 33, 32 uh, dollars all the way down to 26, 27, and it really hasn't made a move up too much yet. Um, so this made me realize that, hey, maybe I'm not as bullish on objective as I was beforehand, and this makes me more bullish on things like Aerodrome. Now, this doesn't uh, this doesn't mean right that I should completely cut injective out of my portfolio, right? I shouldn't just sell all my injective for Aerodrome because you still want to be relatively diversified. At the end of the day, these two coins are in different sectors. Um, but if injective was, let's say, a very similar project to Aerodrome, let's say it was also a decentralized exchange, um, you could potentially, you know, try to reallocate some funds because they are both in the same sectors and this dip kind of just shows you which one is a stronger project. That's all I'm trying to say. So where do we go from here, right? I think Aerodrome has a great chance to break out again because look at this uh, buy pressure that was forming before, of course, a mini black swan where we got this liquidation event. Um, we were definitely, we, we were headed for this zone right here, uh, this 240-250 zone. Um, and I do believe we are going to hit there in the next couple of days, perhaps, right? Maybe in the next week. Um, we have a good chance because we, we've already broken this high right here, right? This this previous all-time high consolidation zone of uh, about $1.99. We've already broken that now. Now we're at 206, you know, we whipped up to 2, 214. I think the next zone is going to be this 240, 250 zone. Um, don't be surprised if we shoot up to that zone in about a week, right? I'll, I'll give us about a week. I'll give us some leeway. Um, of course, I could be completely wrong. You know, I'm still learning technical analysis. I'm, I'm trying to get better at it. But in my opinion, we are most likely heading there sooner rather than later. This giant dip we had also just shows you how bullish the base ecosystem is as a whole, right? Uh, it's extremely, extremely bullish. In fact, all of the top projects in base, in my opinion, are very, very bullish, including the top meme coin, Brett. Uh, I talked about this meme coin in a, lot, a couple of my videos already. Please check those videos out if you want to learn more about this coin and why I'm bullish on it. But as you can see yesterday, right, we had this flash crash. We Brett's price went from about, you know, 7, uh, 7.3 cents, crash all the way to 6 cents. And then literally within an hour, boom, shot back up again, right where we left off, right? <laughs> Nothing changed at all. Um, look at these giant wicks, right? Giant red wick, giant green wick, right? That's what the market is deciding to do. Uh, you know, no one's telling the market to do that. That's what the market is deciding, right? That's what these traders are thinking right now. Wow, Brett is at such a discount. You know, we are looking, we are, look at this graph, look at this consolidation, right? We are so close to breaking out. We are so close to breaking out, and um, a lot of these traders are like, "Wow, this could be my last opportunity to pick up Brett." You know, maybe around that six cent range. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy a lot of it, and like we're back basically like nothing happened. And this is a meme coin, guys. This is a meme coin with seven hundred million dollars market cap. Right? It's a very new meme coin. It's only been out for like two months. That is so bullish for a meme coin. You would expect meme coins to drop like crazy, right? Look at something like Pepe, right? Let me just search Pepe um, in coin market cap. Pepe dropped a lot. Pepe did drop a lot. Uh, it dropped like 20 something percent. It's it's going back up again right now, but it dropped to like that five cent range. Um, so it's, it's coming back up to maybe six cents. Pepe, it's not doing terrible because it's still technically in this zone of consolidation, right? The zone of, cons of consolidation basically is going from about five and a half cents all the way to 10 cents. Uh, this is, It's a pretty giant range, but Pepe has been consolidating very well in this range. If it went any lower, if it went to like four cents, um, I would be a lot more concerned but it's still doing relatively well. Um, but something like Brett, right, is just absolutely crazy. Literally, this is like a blip, nothing happened. Um, and same thing with Aerodrome, right? The topic of today's video. 
it's like nothing happened. It's just a blip. It's just a one. Like if you slept through this drop, right? If you, uh, when did this drop happen? I think like around like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., something like that. What the heck? Okay, <laughs> something like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. yesterday. If you slept through it and then you woke up, like let's say you like woke up pretty late. You woke up at 12, at 1. Um, nothing would have happened. You would have looked at your portfolio and be like, huh, that's weird. Everything dropped, but Aerodrome didn't. That is why I'm so, so bullish on Aerodrome as a project. I talked about the fundamentals of Aerodrome in some of my previous videos, you know, how it's the number one DEX on base, how it has zero competitors. Um, all of this just adds more and more bullishness to Aerodrome, right? It's like like we're building basically a file on Aerodrome, right? We're like, we're adding all of the bits and pieces to it. You know, wow, like number one DEX, no competitors, you know, stayed strong in the dip. We're just adding more and more. We're just adding fuel to the fire right now. Uh, that's all we're adding. We're adding more and more conviction. Um, this is probably one of my highest conviction plays, probably top three highest conviction plays for this bull run. So, uh, and this dip just proves, this proves everything, honestly. It, it proves a lot. Um, so yeah, look for a breakout you know, of this uh, 250 range and then even of this 314 range. Could definitely see that happening soon. But I think that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, let me know what videos you guys want to see next. Um, I've been experimenting a little bit with, you know, maybe some lower market cap coins, uh, some lower lower market cap gems that I've been researching. But also, uh, let me know if you want to see, you know, more analysis on Aerodrome, uh, on ArcBlock, on Caspa, any other coin that you guys want me to analyze, you know, I'll do it for you guys. Um, that's what I'm here for. Let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video.